Over time, the subsurface equipment for undertaking a drill stem test from a floating vessel has developed to a point where the test string is divided into a lower section that is supported by the packer and an upper section, which is supported by the subsea BOP stack during the test. The components added to the test string to satisfy offshore testing needs include a subsea master valve, slip joints, slip joint safety valve, and a pressure activated circulation sub. The subsea master valve is a combination valve and hydraulic operator system, which is assembled in the test string and placed so as to land out in the BOP stack. The valve assembly acts as a master safety valve. The hydraulic operator is powered by hydraulic fluid from the surface. When an emergency arises, the subsea master valve is closed hydraulically. The hydraulic operator is unlatched and disconnected. And the subsea BOP is closed, thereby shutting in the well. If necessary, the marine riser may be retrieved and the vessel may leave the location. Slip joints are added to the test string to help compensate for vessel movement so that constant weight can be maintained while setting the downhole tools. After the test is underway, the slip joints compensate for any expansion or contraction of the string due to pressure and temperature changes. The slip joint system is placed between the test assembly and the major pipe or tubing string. Two slip joints, one compressed and one extended, are often used to allow for maximum expansion and contraction. The slip joint safety valve is a sliding valve mechanism attached to the slip joints. Parting of the drill pipe above the slip joint safety valve will cause the valve to close, thereby causing the drill pipe below that point to be shut in. Because some slip joint safety valves will not permit a hollow bar to pass through so as to operate a reverse circulation sub, a pressure activated reverse circulation sub must be run below the slip joints. The ports in the tool are opened by imposing a specified pressure differential between the drill string and annulus. Reverse circulation is then possible. Other than these additional test elements, the makeup of a floating offshore test tool is essentially similar to those for a land or fixed platform test.